Hi friends, this is Benjamin Young, and today I'm playing Don't Starve. It's a uh, survival crafting game like no other. I've been in here a few times for a while, but we're going to start a new one, and we're going to turn off the Ex Reign of Giants expansion pack, and we will get the world generating. The default character's name is Wilson, and he's just an all-around great guy. And I will start our five minutes once the world is generated. They're done in beginning food. Alright, here we go. Timer is going. I'm playing again on a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a Surface Pro 2 with a, an Xbox 360 controller, which works really, really well. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Understatement. Okay, here we go. So, I can pick flowers, and I can eat the flowers, and nothing happened. Um, if I do the right trigger, I get into like a focused menu section, and in the top right you can see the three icons have numbers behind them. Um, the yellow one is for your stomach, the red one is for your health, and the bottom one is for your sanity. Don't Starve is the only... Um, crafting survival game I know of that has sanity as a metric, but I've not played them all. It's a new genre for me, so... Um, what you do in Don't Starve is basically this. You run around and collect stuff. Um, that works just as well with the mouse and keyboard. I find um, battling, which you do do in here, easier with the controller. I killed a butterfly. Um, than with the mouse and keyboard, but you might find that you like the mouse and keyboard better. Um, the menu on the left, which I can use the left trigger to bring up, is the crafting menu, which is one of my favorites in all that I've tried. So now I have an axe, and I can now do more than just look at the greenery. <clears throat> and I can cut it down. And the nice thing, one nice thing, is each character that you can play as you unlock them, um, <laughs> has different thoughts about the world. Take that, nature. Um, flowers. It's pretty, it smells like a common labor. Um, so if you wanted to, you could pick your characters based on that. Um, the key thing to do before the end of the day is get enough stuff to make a fire. Um, you can see in the crafting menu if I go down, there's some campfire and a torch, um, and a trap. I can make a trap. Ooh, let's get some more berries. Um, if I go back into that menu again, you can see my stomach contents are going down. So I'm gonna, um, eat this butterfly. And it went up a little, so I'm gonna eat some. Um, you can navigate here with the bottom right, uh, joystick on the Xbox 360 controller. Eat that. I'm back up to full health, which is awesome. And this big guy over here, ooh, what is this? Some food. Manure. Um, that guy's a beefalo. If I attack him, he will surely kill me. Um, nice fly noises. I should fill my pockets. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's do it. Ooh, seeds. Um, and you can <clears throat> play this game several ways, obviously. You can build your own bases trick out the world. There's also an adventure mode, but you have to find it. Um, or you can stay in the sandbox mode, like I tend to do, and just try and survive. Uh, there's all kinds of monsters that show up later to kill you. Um, anyway, I was going to see if we can find a different sort of world area. There's grasslands and earthy places and swamps and all kinds of stuff. Um, you use poop to build farms, and there's lots of these roads to nowhere that you can traverse. And the traps, if you... Ooh, what's this? It's a wormhole. These things are scary. Wormhole. Science compels me to jump in. That's right. Wilson is a scientist. There's also a librarian and a mime and some other people that you can play as. Here we go. That was not a sane thing to do. No, probably not. Get some more flowers. Um... A uh, good thing to know is that if you get 12 flowers, you can craft a garland, which is the best way to maintain your sanity, at least in the summer. 
apparently attractive headwear, headgear, um, is um, <clears throat> useful for maintaining sanity, I would have to agree. Hiking hats. Okay, it's nighttime. The pig just ran away. Let's see if I can get a garland made here. As you can see, it gets darker and it's harder to see where you're going. But eventually, if you stay into the. Here's our garland. Oh, nice. Um, if you stay into the night and don't get. Um, don't build any sort of fire, then you go really crazy really, really fast. So I'm going to build a fire pit. I'm not a fire pit, a campfire. So you, there's a thing called a fire pit, but you need 12 rocks. And our time is up. So that's the fire, and this is Wilson with his axe and his flower hat saying goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.